SkyView HDX was designed with an intuitive and comprehensive touch interface while still maintaining a full complement of tactile controls. This design assures the user has effective use of all necessary controls in a demanding cockpit environment, especially in turbulence. Even the physical design of the HDX bezel and button knob control shelf has been optimized for operation with the touch-centric system. Bezel features provide excellent locations to rest and stabilize your hand when performing touch gestures, providing a ledge for hand stabilization on both top and sides. Knobs are located on the outside perimeter of the bezel, clearing access to touchable areas. The low-profile buttons of the control shelf minimize inadvertent button pushes when using the shelf for stabilization during touch gesture inputs and selections. Touch gestures are available throughout the HDX system. They serve as a primary method of selecting and controlling many features and actions, as well as providing shortcuts to features that may also be accessed through various menus. On the PFD and map pages, touch gestures can be easily discovered by simply touching the screen. On the map page, you will discover many touch gestures familiar with other touchscreen devices such as tablets and smartphones. Panning and zooming are clear examples. Skyview HDX also presents many menus, informational pages, and feature control pages that are easily navigated using touch gestures. Many visual clues will alert the pilot to the presence of touchable gestures. These include graphical icons, selectable tabs, and editable fields, each with a three-dimensional shaded box appearance, like command buttons and boxes on other computing devices. In addition to touchable prompts, Skyview can be configured to show a touch marker, which indicates where your touch has been recognized by the system on the screen. This feature can be found under Local Display Setup, and then Touch Setup Show Touches. At the very top of the HDX touchscreen, we have the top bar, also referred to as the status bar. Depending on the equipment installed in your aircraft, the status bar may look slightly different, but the functions and location of the touchable features will be the same. The status bar has soft key functions or touchable features. This means the four enunciation areas are touchable and when touched, opens a control panel for each respective feature. Touching the upper left section of the status bar allows for quick access of the autopilot functions. When the transponder is installed and configured, the top bar will display the transponder status information, including the squawk code, transponder status, and reply status. Touching this will bring up the transponder control window. Control of your transponder squawk code can be accomplished here, along with the transponder mode and access to the ident button. Next is the clock or timer. A touch action here will prompt the timer control screen. This can provide the pilot with a timer that can be set to count up or by editing the time field as a countdown function, which can include an audible alert. The main clock settings are controlled through the main setup menu and are typically done during the initial system installation and setup. If a compatible radio is installed and configured, the status bar will show the radio status information. Touching this will call up the COM radio control screen where direct control of the radio can occur. Frequency inputs can be entered here using the number pad, or when using Skyview's integrated COM radio, frequencies can be sent directly to the standby position. To easily bring the standby frequency to the broadcast frequency, simply touch the swap soft key. Another great feature of the Skyview integrated radio is the ability to monitor your standby frequency. Simply touch the dual soft key and now you are broadcasting on the active frequency, but monitoring both the active and standby frequencies. Many items on the PFD page are touchable, including all of the bugs. Note that the items displayed can depend on the configuration and external components of your system. When an information item or bug that can be adjusted by the knob is touched, it immediately changes the function of the knob under the PFD. Notice that the knob briefly lights up in light blue to indicate the change in function. This feature can be used to set knobs for an airspeed bug, altitude bug, vertical speed bug, heading or track bug, and the course 
when it is applicable. For airspeed, altitude, and vertical speed, you may touch anywhere within the main tapes to assign their bug to the knob. For heading, track, and course, you just touch the numerical value for the item around the HSI. For example, indicated airspeed when using the autopilot feature in both simplified and expert mode can easily be adjusted using the soft key touch method. Touch the indicated airspeed bug, the bug window is highlighted, confirming the touch, and the knob assignment changes to IAS. You can now adjust this item by rotating the knob. And just as a reminder, the text window next to the knob indicates what information the knob is currently assigned to adjust. The autopilot vertical speed bug can be adjusted in the same method. And as we see again, the bug window is highlighted and the knob is now assigned to vertical speed, indicating VS on the screen. If your aircraft system installation includes navigational avionics that interface with the HDX system, there is an easy way to select those navigation sources. By touching the HSI Information Item Bug, better known as the Navigation Source Selector, each touch scrolls through the available navigation sources, which are then displayed on the HSI. The naming of these sources is done in the main setup menu. Details of operating navigation sources will be covered in other HDX Academy videos. The map page uses touch gestures in the same fashion that you're used to on modern tablets and mobile phones. To pan around the map, just drag the map and it will follow your finger. To recenter the view on the aircraft, touch the information bar or click the map knob. To zoom in and out, you may pinch with two fingers. In turbulence, you may find it easier to turn the map knob to zoom. When the map is presented as the 50% split content, you may wish to maximize the area dedicated to the moving map for better situational awareness. Located in the upper left corner of the map, you will find the Maximize icon. When the Maximize icon is touched, the map page will expand to the full 50% window of the display, removing from the view the map info column and the engine bottom band. While the map is maximized, the icon in the upper left hand corner will change. This is the Minimize icon. To restore the map info column, and or the hidden portion of the engine bottom band, touch the minimize icon. There are many more embedded touch functions throughout the Skyview HDX system, and those will be found in lessons specific to those features. We hope that you found this overview of the HDX touch functions helpful. Thank you for watching this HDX Academy lesson. Be sure to keep up on all the latest Dynon news and information by subscribing to our channel and our email list. Our mission at Dynon is to create the best avionics and aircraft systems for light aircraft, and since 2000 we have been doing just that.